Yo, it's Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, obviously, you're going to talk about the big one, right? Obviously, you're going to talk about the big one. Canelo Alvarez versus Triple G ends in a draw. It ends in a draw. Now, you guys know most of the time, come straight from the fight, get straight to you. Don't like to really look at anything, no videos or no, you know, uh, post-fight anything. Most of the time, that didn't happen this time. Post-fight, I didn't check out, but I have looked at a video, and I have seen what Teddy Atlas' opinion was, Stephen A. Smith's opinion was, so I have seen a little something of the uh, feedback of the fight. And I looked at it myself, a draw, I had uh, Golovkin winning, but barely. It wasn't but like he beat him up real bad. Or anything like that. I do think that the left can probably had him around or two, uh, you know. But um, a draw, you know, I'm not really outraged by a draw. It's it's uh, it's okay. Um, most people understand and understood, but only you know if you're into boxing a little bit, it's gonna be you're gonna be hard pressed to get a decision against Canelo. Uh, Vegas or really, pretty much in Vegas, the, the, the most parts everywhere really. <laughs> if you you know, uh, but. It's going to be real hard to do so. And it proved itself again. Now, but let me just say something about Canelo. Uh, you, know, you guys know that I don't feel as though, you know, I think he's been overhyped, uh, Canelo, um, going into the fight. And I just think that period, you know, I think he's a good fighter and everything, but I think he shouldn't be as heralded as, as such because there's some things he should have done that documented 154 division and things of the like. But I'm going to say this, watching this fight, you know, I always had respect for him because he's doing this at a young age. That's what people don't realize. Doing a lot of these things at a young age. But, um, you know, some more respect. I like his counter bunch of ability. I like his uh, upper body movement, the way he was being there. His defense is a lot better than he gets credit for. Uh, you know, he, uh, when he moves the upper body, but he's bringing that left hook to the body. That's a lot of people, if you ain't seen it, you're missing something. But I know the left, the left can go, uh, you know, the ribs going, you know, they're going to hurt the next day a little bit. People going to know, well, why the left can then come to the party? Man, you know, ribs. So Canelo done a lot of things, um, you know, and, uh, you know, sometimes we go over, over with the Mexican style, this and this. You know, people, hey, man, the Mexican style, like they all come forward and they all do. That's not even, man, what is that? <laughs> what is that? Even the left, we talk about Mexican style, you know. And then when he fought the music, somebody who's gonna hit him back hard. If you play, you were, let me hold up on that so-called Mexican style stuff until it's time to you know to activate. You know, so and then, uh, same thing with Canelo. Canelo came out moving, you know, doing his thing. Look like, oh yeah, Canelo, you gotta get sound button a little bit if you want to, huh? Don't even try it. People do what it takes to win matches, and that's everybody. You know, so Mexican style, whatever. I don't understand that one. If you mean winning fights, then I can understand it. But it's not coming forward with records abandoned and don't care what happens to so what's coming back. That only happens when some people are thinking that they over can overpower the other per opponent to win. And that's probably the only way to win. That's not the way their families are telling them to go out the door and do. Your, your wife is, or your girlfriend or whatever is not telling hey, go out there and show me Mexican style and go get hit on the head and, and, and we don't care because we want you to have honor. And nobody ain't going to don't even try it. And neither is Canelo. Canelo did what it took and showed me some movement and some good defense in this fight. And, you know, uh, the man is bad. Canelo, Canelo got skills. Uh, they were on display. And his, uh, his counter punching was real well, real, real good counter punching. Uh, and Canelo can take a punch. Let's give him that too. You know, he can take a punch. Now, same thing with Gennady Golovkin. Gennady Golovkin, just, I'm coming forward regardless. He was getting hit with some shots. But, you know, I think he outworked Canelo a little bit and kept coming forward whether he was getting hit or not, which is basically what he always does. Uh, so Golovkin can really, really take a punch. You know, you know, it is what it is. He was getting hit. I just think Golovkin maybe won this one slightly, but okay, a draw is a draw and whatever is clever. Right? You know, ain't no undefeateds up in here. Right? No, no more. You know, it is what it is. And Golovkin, from Golovkin's uh, point of view right now, you know, your last three fights, everything's been close. That when we're stepping up in um, 
in, in opposition. You know, things are close. Things are mortal. But, you know, ain't nobody beat them up. So, Golovkin's still in the mix. I don't know if they're going to rematch it. I don't know what they're going to do. But I'm going to tell you something. You know, when you get into the judging, and I've said it several occasions, but I call it a justification booth. After every judge, they got to go after the fight to a little booth and watch the fight and justify it round by, round by round what they saw and why they judged that way. Because one judge got a 118, 110. It's a whole lot of rounds for one dude, not many for the other. What is that? You know, I don't know. It's a whole lot of rounds. The judge, 118, 110, blew out Landish. But we've seen this before, you know, and um, in another fight with Canelo. And, you know, I have my little my little theory, you know, it probably won't sit well with a lot of people, but I just think that, um, you know, when you had, a, you know, Mayweather against Canelo, it was a whitewash, pretty much close to a shutout. And you had one judge um, calling that fight even. And I think the common denominator in these two uh, cases are that they were female. And I would suggest a few things, you know, when you're just talking about the, you know, if it's a male fight, I think it probably should just be male judges. And if it's a female fight, female judges and things like that, probably. I know it's not what you want to say nowadays, but we are male and female. And, you know, sometimes, let me give, give you an example. You know, you know, if I'm watching tennis or something, you know, there ain't too much eye candy out there, but if it is, you know, you're like, well, the cute girl got the point. Well, ooh, she's fine. You know, this one's like, your girl's a both of them. Smaller than the other ones, you know. So you're going for it because she's smaller than the other ones. She, you know, shoot, she's kind of fine. You know, it's a both of them. You know, going for a little bit extra. You know, male-female thing. You know, a couple of females have judged outlandishly. Right? In the Canelo versus Mayweather fight. And, uh... This right here, outlandishly, you know. So maybe, you know, that there's something to look into. It's a little theory of mine. I just think it's probably okay. This, you know, males do males, females do females. So we don't have no extra eye lacking because they're cute or you know, fine or whatever. You know, could happen. Just tell you, like a female, like a, a, a boxer. Boxer come out and she's not to the females liking, right? And all of a sudden, you know, you know, I don't really like him, you know. Then, you know, all of a sudden, he got, you know, you've seen it, he's helping in the community, helping sick kids, donating to a lot of things, you know, things, voluntary uh, working and doing a lot of stuff, you know, for the community, good guy, right? Then you say, okay, well, you know, the guy's pretty charming, you know, he's good, good, good guy, you start liking him, you know, dude you like, from the beginning, from what you see, you got that eye candy popping off for you. All of a sudden, he say three words. You know, I'm I'm, I'm gonna beat him up. You know, God bless him, but I'm gonna beat him up. Man, he man, he's a very charming guy. I like him a lot. Don't have to do as much. You know, there was just a little theory of mine. I think you know, maybe take that out of the equation a little bit and just let it happen. You know, and uh, that's just something I'm thinking. Now, other than that, judges need to not be from uh, the promoters. Should not. I agree with Teddy Atlas on this. They should not be able to pick the judges, the promote the promotion team. That's ludicrous. That's gonna always it's gonna always be corruption in that. I also think they shouldn't be able to hear anything, right? And then they need to go in that justification booth. And then my other suggestion is probably, you know, have males do males and females do females. Then we would probably with those little changes right there. And another suggestion from a casual fan friend of mine was saying, you know, what about just having more of them? You know, <laughs> you can bribe one. What if you gotta bribe five? Cost a little bit more. You know what? Why? You know they don't get paid that much anyway. So get five or seven judges. Just things so we can stop with the judging. You know the, the fight was a good fight. Let's let's make sure that's clear. Dude, you saw a good fight. You were your edge of your seat. Thought something was gonna happen because you watch Triple G. You think he gonna catch him and you see him with uh, Canelo making him miss right hands all night. Making him miss right hands all night. Stepping around, having a miss, walking out of there. Uh, and then coming in with the left hook to the body, doing some good work. But at the end of the day, the left one was always there and outworking him more. So a draw, we're going to accept it. I had the left one winning by a little bit, but not by much. So it was a close fight. Let's see if they're going to rematch. Or, you know, what would be even more awesome is they're going to handle some stuff. 
right? Go handle some stuff. Somebody, you know, Jacob is over there like, I beat both of y'all. Somebody go get him, and then the other one go get somebody else, and then meet again instead of right away. You know, to you know, go beat somebody, somebody else to let everybody know, well, this fight was the two best, you know? And then come back again. Maybe have one good fight in between, not no, you know, warm-up fights, you know, because you guys are past warm-up fights. You know, bam, let me go meet somebody who, you know, the left can go say, right, let me go handle Jacobs. He was talking. And anybody else talking some stuff, like a Charlo or something, did Canelo go get him? Yeah, he was down at 154 trying to come up to my division at 160. Let me go get Charlo so he ain't selling no more wolf tickets down there. And we beat both of them, Jacobs and Charlo, right? Then we come back and fight. Then, then I'm talking. Then, then, then now you're talking. That's what I like to see, because y'all draw hard, whatever. Right? So, go beat some bad dudes and meet, meet again. Then you have a big event. But that ain't gonna happen. What's gonna happen is you literally match right away. Let's see what happens. Right? Double sports talk. Worldwide. And I'm up out of here, y'all.